the whole idea was, you know, to humiliate people and to terrify. How are you doing? Tell me, where, are you hurting anywhere? Oh, yeah. My legs, especially in my shoulders, feel like they're coming out of socket. Yeah. You, you, as long as you can, hang on there. Can you go anymore? Yeah, I, I'm fine now. All right, yeah, no, just, okay. just, I want you to go as long as you can. Yeah. So, I mean, what was it feeling like for you? Just, um, just a lot of. I mean, breathing wasn't, wasn't so bad, yeah. but uh, just my thighs, right. um, this cramping, extreme pain. Did you feel like you were short of breath, or was it mostly just No, not the breathing. It was just the, mostly the arms. But he's not sweating. You know, nasal, there's no right. nasal flaring. He's not having trouble getting in oxygen. He's not mouth breathing. He's, mm -hmm. he's fine. So if indeed this was the case, then you really have to think of other mechanisms. Asphyxia is pretty much off the table. Absolutely off the table here. Scourging was an integral part of the punishment of crucifixion, a public display of humiliation, a public display of the Roman imposition of their authority on a lower class criminal. of bone just free floating yeah 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 okay i mean it's completely pulpified so wow. i mean the impacts are so severe you, you have uh rib fractures you know anterior lateral lateral but you also have more posterior oh look at that so, they are complete uh, fractures this would certainly hasten blood loss dehydration uh and death Jesus, who's carrying something that's weighing 80 pounds, he sustained, you know, severe trauma. His heart rate is probably rising. His respiration is really rising. He's struggling. So I can imagine that he's starting to get fatigue in his, his legs. He may get somewhat disoriented, and it brings up the possibility of him 
uh, likely or possibly falling. bounces off. This is the head acceleration measured by the accelerometer. And we're getting just short of 350G. Now, that is significant. This is quite significant loading onto the chest. If you repeat this a number of times, then, in fact, the overall consequences could be a lot worse. I believe Jesus suffers dehydration from profuse sweating, external bleeding, and lack of fluid intake. He's likely to be bleeding into his chest through fractured ribs. His internal organs may also be ruptured and bleeding. With his lungs likely partially functioning, he has difficulty in breathing and shifting blood and oxygen around his body. Once he loses 20% of his blood, he starts to go into hypovolemia. His organs, his heart, his brain will starve of blood and ultimately oxygen. Hypovolemic shock, resulting in respiratory failure and cardiac arrest, explains how Jesus would have died within six hours on the cross.